I'd like to, I guess, fulfill the other aspect of the program this afternoon by reading a couple of poems. And actually, the poem's not saying nothing different from what I just said, so <laughs> for those who think that it'd be something else, it won't be nothing else but the same thing. You know, be ready for that. Uh, these poems come from a book called Hard Facts, and also uh, <clears throat> some things written after that. Just looking through this because uh, you know it gives me something to do actually. This is for the inauguration. It's called an American Oppress Story. Remember Howdy Doody? Well, he grew up and became Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Millionaire, capitalist, peanut pusher. And he's going to ask you to settle for peanuts as leading representative of the extreme left wing of the SS. Instead of absolute change, which is revolution, Howdy will beg you to settle for peanuts. Nix him. <clears throat> the joint, the joint, the joint. In New York, musicians always say, whatever it is you're looking for is the joint. The kings line up their dogs, dogs, on all sides. Big teeth wet with blood, neon teeth blinking on and off, advertising insanity. Grinning cardboard hat teeth, teeth like lights going up the Hudson. Riverside Drive and Berkeley teeth, Lower East Side and Soho teeth. The kings line up their dogs on all sides, sides. Hidden and open, snarling and laughing, some with daggers, some with steely trap thighs, some named Kurt, some named Rashid, some screaming white, some crooning black, some on television, some slumped over park benches talking out their heads, heads. The kings line up their dogs in a million costumes and come-ons. Some you know are your enemies, some pretend they're friends. Rich robbers by thousands of assassins. Some make movies, some tea. Some to try to kill you, some to try to kill me. <clears throat> <clears throat> 